What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'm going to talk about a lot of the Call of Duty Vanguard weapon customization things that have come out uh, over the last few days since the alpha has ended. A lot of players were getting access to this via bugs in game. You know, there were some bugs that were allowing players to see th some things that they should not. And a lot of the data miners are backing this up saying they've already seen this in the code. So keep in mind this is bugged and data mined info, but it does seem pretty legit and a lot of people are confirming this. Some of the stuff has been rumored for quite a while now for the last month or so. So it seems like a lot of this stuff may end up in the game, but just keep in mind it is, you know, not official yet. The first thing they talked about was the gun bench. The gun bench from Modern Warfare seems to be returning in Vanguard. I think a lot of players will like that. A lot of players like the gun bench from Modern Warfare. Also, 10 attachments on weapons. Now, this has been rumored for a while, and it seems to be pretty legit because a lot of players were seeing this when they were getting that certain bug that was allowing them to see weapon attachments. But you actually could see that some of these weapons had 10 attachments on them. That's kind of odd to me because I was really thinking they were trying to, you know, kind of mesh Vanguard and Warzone together and make it, you know, kind of more of the same when it comes to kind of like how Modern Warfare and Warzone was on the same engine, wanted to kind of have the same feel. So it didn't really feel different if you're playing, like right now, if you're playing Warzone and Cold War, it feels like two different games. And I was thinking they might go with more of that same kind of feel with Vanguard. But 10 attachments is a lot more attachments that you can run in Warzone. So that's going to be kind of an interesting thing to see when the game comes out. If this actually has 10 attachments, it's going to feel a lot different with these weapons that are going to be added in, uh, you know, from Vanguard to Warzone. They're going to have a lot of different feels to them, considering, you know, one uh, multiplayer mode, you can run 10 attachments. And then, of course, in Warzone, unless they change something, you're probably only, only going to be able to run five. Uh, the other thing that I thought was kind of interesting is I said, they did see some detailed stats, but will it be like Cold War is kind of my question. I think the detailed stats we got per weapon in multiplayer in Cold War was one of the best things Cold War added in. One of the best things Treyarch has ever done. Instead of just seeing a bar, you know, there with your stats, we actually got to see specific numbers of how each attachment affected a weapon. I'm really hoping if these detailed stats are going to be in the game, they kind of go with that same concept from Black Ops Cold War. And last but not least, they talked about the weapon levels. A lot of the weapon levels that they found in the code of uh, Call of Duty Vanguard and some of the leaked you know, info from the bugs and things that were showing photos of the guns being 70 plus levels. So that's kind of like Modern Warfare. And that means if there's 70 plus levels, there's at least going to be 70 plus attachments per weapon, which I find kind of interesting because I'm not sure how you can put 70 attachments on a World War II style gun. Um, World War II weapons really weren't known for having that many attachments so i'm not quite sure how they're going to do that but I, I did find it interesting that they're saying that the you know the weapons had that high of a level now they may not give you attachments every level like they did in modern warfare maybe it's going to be handled differently but i did find that kind of interesting as well anyway guys leave me a comment with your thoughts do you kind of like the idea of having 10 attachments having to level up weapons to level 70 again would you like to see stats like Call of Duty Cold War? That's one thing that I would really like to see brought back to Vanguard. It seems like we're going to kind of get a mix of weapons and attachments and, and the whole theme of modern warfare and Cold War when it came to weapons in general. It seems like it's going to kind of all just be meshed together in this game. Of course, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Of course, if you'd like to hit the like, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, the affiliates here on the channel, Empire Jerky and Amazon Associates. Amazon Associates is where I link some of the things that I use every day in gaming, and you guys might like to check some of those things out. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.